Frequently, we are asked how I determine my wholesale price. My name is Heather Roberts, and I am the co-founder of RSG Sales. We uh, help brands and suppliers grow their e-commerce sales channel through e-commerce account management and e-commerce account training. So how do I set my wholesale price? A wholesale price is used when you are working in a direct supplier relationship. So those particular um, accounts are Wayfair.com, Target.com, Bed Bath & Beyond.com, Macy's, um, uh, One Kings Lane, and Home Depot. So those suppliers, um, you set your wholesale price. So how do you do that? Well, your first step is to determine your internal kind of base cost. That's you know your cost of goods, um, any other things that you need to include, maybe some overhead, what have you, um, and your, your margin um, that you want and need to make. Once you have that set, then you need to account for a returns allowance. These particular cust uh, customers tend to um, prefer a returns allowance that comes off of each invoice. After you have your, and your returns allowance will include damages and defects as well. So once you have that uh, determined, then you need to take a look at your promotions. You know, you need to account for that in your sales. So um, once we add all of that together, um, you have your wholesale price. So you have your base cost plus your returns allowance slash damages and defects, and you have your promotion allowance. All in rolled into one, and there we go. If you have any other questions about how to set your wholesale price, or um, want to work with one of the suppliers that I, or one of the customers that I mentioned, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Go to rsgsales.com, click the uh, schedule a strategy session, and um, we'll have a free 30-minute call, see what we can do to help you out. I uh, hope you have a good day, and we'll talk soon.